It's time to do a bit of tender loves. We've got a hole. Long story short, I've done a boo boo. Come on! <laughs> Come on, girl! <laughs> Arriving back in Phuket after a quick trip down to Langkawi on a cheese, beer and visa run, it was time to tick some of those jobs off the endless boat list. We had a fun sail back to Phuket in the stronger than normal winds and at it with a flat sea, Nanji was flying. But being back in Thailand means it's time to fix our tender and help protect Flubber for the future. Oh, win the morning, win the day. We like our coffee instant around here. If you want to get yourself a sailing Nanji mug, there'll be a link in the description. So we're off to see Hans this morning. Hans is a German expat who runs a business here in Phuket. His business is called Cholomark Boats and they specialise in uh, creating covers for tenders. And Flubber's been a bit naked for a while and we have to do a little repair on her as well. So we'll take Flubber in there this morning. We'll go have a chat with Hans and see what we can do. Unlike a lot of the marine stuff, which is like a long way up near Boat Lagoon and halfway up the island of Phuket, this boat shop is right here in Chilong. Chilong is where you need to clear into, into Phuket, into the island when you first arrive at Thailand. So it's heaps, the convenience of it being right here, being a five minute scooter ride, or just if you're on the Foot Falcons, it takes you 10 minutes, but it only takes five minutes by bike and we're there. Convenience at its best. <laughs> Was the vinyl, was it? Yeah, that is the vinyl. Yeah, yeah. We have two, two types. This has a bit of a linen. <laughs> Normally when we go sailing from an anchorage to another one, especially if we're going offshore, we always, in that case, we put the tender up on the bow just so it's the safest area. We don't hang it off the davits. But one of the last little trips in Indo, I got a little bit lazy. It was only 25 miles away. So we had the tender still up on the davits because we lift it up every night so we don't get growth on the bottom. And we decided oh, I'll just move over to this anchorage. We got that anchorage, yeah, a big squall blew in and we couldn't anchor anywhere safely so we had to keep moving. And we ended up sailing on the lean and the tender was rubbing underneath the davits and I put a hole in the top of the tender here. So today when we drop this off to Hans, we're not just getting a new cover, we're going to get this boat professionally fixed once again. I patched it up with the service kit that came with Flubber when we first got here but yeah I'm, I'm not very good at patching so as the temperature changes and the air differentiates, it's like expanding and getting smaller, we're getting an air bubble under my patch and it's 
leaking. So we'll take it in and get that fixed up and make flubber. This is the new whip, the red rocket. Woo. Pretty cool little scenario they got going on. So we drop off flubber and then they give us this little red rocket that we can use for the next few days while everything happens to flubber. We're gonna go so fast in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit longer and skinnier, so I think it might go a little bit faster. What do you think, Josh? It's red. Oh, it goes it's fastest. Red. It's red. Of course. Of course. Bye, Flubber Bubba. Let's see what this little red rocket's got, eh? <laughs> Come on. Go, muscles. <laughs> Come on, girl! <laughs> See what Agent 99's got, eh? Uh, we found one little issue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he still jumps off the same. Yeah, Come on. Yeah. We got the call that our tender's all done, so we're gonna head back to Hans and uh, have a look at it and show you guys around the warehouse and uh, talk about the product and show you our new cover. We wanna go check out where it was made and go see how the ladies do it, because it's quite a bit of craftsmanship and this sort of stuff, and we enjoy looking at things yeah. to see how stuff's made, so let's go check out the warehouse, eh? Let's go. Safety first. What difference is that? Yeah, that's awesome. That is so good. Yeah. Pretty stoked with the way it's come out. We opted for the same colour as the previous one anyway, because we just wanted to keep flubber looking like flubber. And so they've matched it exactly the same, basically. First, to wrap it around your tubes, then they transfer that on some material so to cut it out. So it's basically, it's unique for everyone, you know, because this is a, a manufactured boat, but they still have little bits of variation. So to have the cover, fit perfectly it kind of kind of makes sense to have it here so they can match it we actually had the option of choosing from three different types of fabrics there was sunbarella suntech and then this one here so this one's imported from germany it's more like a vinyl kind of uh texture if it, if it gets dirty we can wash it off yeah, we have marley and it it does get quite dirty sometimes so we want to be able to clean it really easily if we had like um a fabric marley would just make it so dirty so we chose this one look how snug this is here look at this like everything is just the boss is happy perfect the boss is happy the like captain's happy it's awesome this is going to give our tender a lot more years it's gonna we're gonna be able to keep this for five six seven more years and so we're increasing the longevity of our tender so it's awesome it's a, if you spend a little bit of money on a cover you save money in the long run. In the long run, yeah. But I love it. You're pretty stoked, aren't you? Yeah, it's so good. Like, it really is. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I'm stoked. That kind of looks really good. You can't even tell that it's a cover. The way the cover's installed and so it permanently stays on there is that you glue with the Hyperlon glue because it's a Hyperlon base. So you glue a piece of Velcro around the inside of the seam, which runs just along the outside here, and you do the same on the very inside, which is why it's quite custom for the boat that needs to be here so it fits perfectly. So you can see how the Velcro just comes around on the edge and it just snugs on down. Put a nice tire. Kevin's your uncle. So this is the air conditioned office where the ladies operated. This is where the cover was made. That's sus. Alright, it's time to do our tender swap. We'll give back the little red rocker and we'll get flubber 
It's been a good little tender, but it rides so much differently compared to the high field. Here she comes. The boys have got it. Welcome back, Flubber. How have I have missed you? Get her a pat like Marley. Good girl. Okay, whip it. Okay. Woo. Get there, buddy. Get in. If you're interested in getting a schmick little tender cover like ours, hit up Hans from Trollamark Boats. There'll be links in the description below. They produce covers for all brands and sizes with a wide selection of textures and colors.